Greetings from Mission Control Houston and welcome to Space Station Live. It's a fairly busy week for the astronauts on board the International Space Station. Uh, quite a bit of research and uh, maintenance work being conducted uh, as they move throughout the week. Pavel Vinogradov, current commander of Expedition 36, has quite a few tasks uh, on his schedule. He'll be studying our cardiac bioelectric activity of um, his own body while at rest. This uh, one of the many biological experiments that these astronauts uh, do as expedition crew members on board the International Space Station, serving as guinea pigs themselves uh, for many of these experiments. Uh, throughout the week, uh, Vinogradov has also been involved in a lot of uh, maintenance activities throughout the Russian segment, uh, cleaning out uh, many of the ventilation systems and uh, taking photographs. We'll also be replacing uh, quite a few of the fan screens inside of this ventilation system and also doing some inspection and photography of the windows inside of the Zvezda service module. Uh, he'll be sending these photos down to the ground uh, to Russian controllers in Koryov just outside of Moscow as they continue to uh, take a look at the windows, just uh, always checking for any uh, possible imperfections or damage from uh, potential micrometeoroids. He'll also be uh, doing some more work inside of the Russian segment, replacing some directional airflow sensors. Second Russian cosmonaut Alexander Mazurkin doing a few biological studies himself, uh, starting off mornings with the Sprut 2 experiment, which looks to observe the liquid components of a crew member's body, uh, such as the cellular liquids and blood flow, uh, while in this microgravity environment of space. His task list is also loaded throughout the week with a lot of experiment work, beginning to set up the Molnaya Gamma experiment, which will look at gamma radiation splashes and optical radiation during terrestrial lightning and thunderstorm conditions uh, using three sensors. This is an external payload attached to the uh, outboard uh, section of the Russian segment onboard the International Space Station. He'll also be taking a few measurements from the Russian Matryoshka experiment. This is a upper torso mannequin sized doll on board the station with a number of dosimeters placed throughout it that uh, serves as a radiation monitoring device giving information to teams down on the ground just how much radiation these astronauts are being exposed to during their expedition space flights. He'll also be uh, throughout the week taking some observations for the Russian Siner investigation which looks at the world's ocean areas on a specific latitude belt searching for uh, bioproductive water areas for both commercial fishing and uh, biological research uh, studies. He'll also be doing a few maintenance tasks himself on the Russian systems, uh, specifically focusing on the Russian electron system, which is one of the uh, oxygen generating devices on board the International Space Station. You can see a picture taken with the previous expedition crew here holding up some of those electron generators. NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy pretty much focusing his entire week on preparation for some upcoming spacewalks that he'll be undertaking. Uh, he'll be stepping outside into the vacuum of space on uh, two spacewalks over two weeks. Joining him will be ESA astronaut Luca Parmitano, Cassidy designated EV-1, Parmitano EV-2. Uh, this will be Cassidy's fifth and sixth spacewalks of his career. He already has 23 and a half hours of spacewalking time in four previous EVAs, including uh, the unplanned ammonia leak repair that took back uh, on May 11th. Uh, Cassidy will be uh, preparing his EMU or extravehicular mobility unit, uh, the spacesuit that he'll be wearing throughout this uh, spacewalking procedure, uh, checking out the uh, glove heaters and also the battery systems, and doing an on orbit fit check verification. He'll be joining that fit check verification by Parmitano and fellow NASA astronaut Karen Nyberg. He'll also be going over the uh, procedures in a conference with uh, spacewalk officers down here on the ground in Mission Control Houston. Uh, also doing a software review uh, of what's known as the DUG, the Dynamic Onboard Ubiquitous Graphics System. Aside from all of this EVA preparation uh, throughout the week and over the weekend, uh, Chris Cassidy will also be doing uh, quite a few experimental works. He'll be working with the bina binary colloidal alloy tests, preparing a few samples uh, for uh, installation in this experiment, uh, also known as BCAT. Uh, for short, this uh, experiment looks to document the formation of crystals uh, from microscopic spheres known as colloids uh, while they're suspended in a liquid in microgravity. He'll also be conducting his own monthly periodic fitness evaluation, uh, which will be performed on the CVIS, uh, one of the uh, exercise devices on board the International Space Station. Also, Chris Cassidy will be getting in some more time throughout the week on the SPHERES experiment, 
Sphere standing for the Synchronized Positioned Hold, Engage, Reorient Experimental Satellites. They're these small, self-contained, bowling ball-sized objects, which are used for a number of different exciting experiments, uh, including formation flying uh, and the development of algorithms by uh, students and teams from schools across the country. They get a chance to follow along with the expedition astronauts, uh, watching as these satellites conduct uh, various flying uh, maneuvers such as rendezvous and docking, uh, and also, again, that formation flying. Uh, so Cassidy doing a few spheres test runs uh, throughout the week. Moving on, our third Russian cosmonaut, Fyodor Yurchikin, one of the newer members on board the International Space Station. Uh, quite a bit of uh, maintenance work on his task list uh, over the week inside of the Russian segment. He'll be installing two adjustable length hoses inside of the Russian gas liquid mixture filter. Uh, also taking some time to conduct the Russian bar experiment, which looks to uh, develop various uh, methods for detecting depressurization in any of the modules uh, on the Russian segment. Uh, he'll be working uh, that in, in tandem with controllers down on the ground, which will be simulating a number of different test runs for him. We'll also have some standard uh, software uh, loading activities on some of the Russian laptops, uh, just doing a few updates to some of their controlling systems, also getting his hands on uh, some of the experiment work on the Russian segment. He'll be working with the Russian identification uh, experiment. That's an ongoing investigation uh, looking into the various dynamic loads that the International Space Station's Russian segment structure is subjected to uh, during different dynamic operations. Uh, some of these dynamic operations include uh, docking of visiting vehicles, uh, also station reboots, uh, the physical exercise uh, of the astronauts themselves and also uh, up any extravehicular activity or spacewalks. Uh, the Russians having just completed one back in uh, ju late June and the US uh, OS crew members getting ready to complete two over the next two weeks. European astronaut Luca Parmitano uh, joining Cassidy and much of his activities this week as they continue to prepare for those uh, two upcoming spacewalks. Uh, he'll be doing uh, an on-orbit fit check verification of his own spacesuit uh, along with Cassidy. He'll also be uh, responsible for doing a check out of their SAFER devices. Uh, the SAFER are uh, small nitrogen gas powered backpacks that the astronauts wear, uh, sort of act acting as their life jacket during these uh, spacewalks, uh, aside from the uh, regular contingent of tethers and hand grips that they use to keep attached to the station, the safer can serve as a last resort should the astronauts begin to float away uh, free from the station and getting them back to safety. Parmitano also uh, scheduled to do his own monthly periodic fitness evaluation also on that SEVIS device and then doing uh, some pretty major uh, maintenance tasks on board the station uh, for their various uh, ECLIS or the environmental uh, uh, regeneration systems. Uh, he'll be inside of the European Columbus module uh, working on removing and replacing the Columbus's uh, water processing assembly number two and also replacing some uh, items inside of the waste and hygiene compartment. Uh, he'll be replacing some of the piping between the pump separator and the pre-treat and water pump. And then our final Expedition 36 crew member Karen Nyberg uh, doing some robotics workstation checkouts over uh, the rest of the week. Uh, she'll be uh, responsible for conducting all the robotic operations during Cassidy and Luca Parmitano's spacewalks, controlling the station's Canada Arm 2 or the robotic arm. She'll be doing a checkout uh, of that display and control panel, also continuing with a lot of uh, uh, giving a hand with all the uh, spacesuit or the EMU preparations and going over all of the spacewalk procedures. Uh, she'll be doing her own review of the uh, space station's uh, robotic arm of the remote manipulator systems DUG. The DUG again standing for dynamic onboard ubiquitous graphics. She'll be doing that review with uh, spacewalk officers down here on the ground. Uh, aside from that, uh, quite a bit of uh, experiment work for her. Uh, aside from uh, doing some EarthCam setup. Uh, the EarthCam is the Earth knowledge acquired by middle school students. Uh, she'll be setting that up uh, towards the end of the week uh, and preparing that for middle school students to control and take uh, photos of various uh, locations around the world. She'll also be working inside of the combustion integrated rack, removing and replacing one of the multi-user droplet combustion apparatus fuel reservoirs. 
Uh, these reservoirs are used to contain the liquid fuel used during droplet combustion experiments. That combustion integrated rack is self-contained rack on board the International Space Station uh, for various combustion experiments providing a safe environment uh, for all of the igniting.